Miguel was intelligent, independent, very competitive, self-driven individual, and lived his life to the fullest. He was a compassionate and caring individual to all his family. He was a loving son, brother, and an awesome uncle. Arturo Moreno remembers his big brother as the city of San Antonio honors Officer Miguel Moreno. The nine-year veteran was shot in the line of duty last Thursday and died the following day. He is the 55th San Antonio officer to be killed in the line of duty since 1857. For the second time this year, Community Bible Church, the setting for our city's final salute to a fallen San Antonio police officer. Among those paying their respects, the officer who was wounded in the attack that took Moreno's life. Eyewitness News reporter James Keith is live at Public Safety Headquarters to show us how Officer Moreno was remembered. Well, Deb, music and prayer helped set the tone for this somber event. There were a lot of people there today. We heard from the Texas governor, the mayor, the police chief, and Officer Moreno's brother, a San Antonio police officer. Today, my family misses him deeply. Arturo Moreno remembers Miguel Moreno, not as a police officer, but as his big brother. He had a passion for fishing, loved to travel, enjoyed riding his Harley Davidson motorcycle. He was a compassionate and caring individual to all his family. He was a loving son, brother, and an awesome uncle to his nieces and nephews. Colleagues and dignitaries, including Texas Governor Greg Abbott, offer words of condolences and support to the Moreno family and Officer Julio Cavazos, Moreno's partner who was also shot on June 29. John 15 reminds us that greater love has no man than this, to lay down one's life for another. And Matthew 5 reminds us that Blessed are the peacekeepers, for they will be called children of God. Well, Officer Moreno laid down his life for others. He was a peacekeeper, and I believe he is forever a child of God. I will never forget my brother. The city will never forget him and his beautiful smile that was unforgettable. Thank you, Miguel, because you were the most important person in my life. After the funeral, Moreno's family and members of the police force took part in a private burial ceremony. Live downtown, James Keith, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News. Thank you, James. Hundreds of grateful San Antonians lined the bridges and overpasses along the funeral procession route on Highway 281. With their tears and their silences, they showed the Moreno family the sacrifice of Miguel is appreciated and honored. I'm doing this for my country, to show people in this country that we live in a place that we should be able to feel free and safe wherever we go and to honor those people who put their lives, their own lives in front of our own lives to keep us safe. From babies in arms to grandparents, the crowd included all those who came together to speak with one voice and say thank you. Law enforcement officers from as far away as Canada and New York came to the Alamo City today to pay tribute to Officer Moreno and his family and show support to the San Antonio Police Department. Eyewitness News reporter Priya Shreether has the story. It was a solemn day for the Moreno family and Officer Miguel Moreno's other family. His fellow law enforcement officers who came from both near and far to pay tribute to his life. When somebody loses their life, uh, we show solidarity and familyhood by coming out and, and, and showing support for their, for their immediate family. It's a bond they share by a common purpose, to protect and serve. We get into this job knowing 
that this is a possibility and we know that this could take us away from our families, but it's personal to us. We enjoy this job. We love this job. We love doing the things that we do for the people that we work for. And sometimes with that duty comes sacrifice. But it's a brother sisterhood. You know, we all care about one another. You know, we're sorry when one of us pays the ultimate sacrifice and loses their life in the line of duty. It kind of hurts all of us. While it was an emotional day, it was also a day that showed both SAPD and the Moreno family that in these times of tragedy, they're not alone. As we know that there's other people out there that are thinking about us. Uh, <clears throat> a lot of officers are traveling great distances. We have officers that are going to take the time out of their routine to drive all the way down here to show support for us. It's, it, it feels good. Sharing a bond that honors the sacrifices to keep us safe. Priya Shreether, Ken's Five, Eyewitness News. And a big thank you to you, Ken's Five viewers. You helped raise $31,885 for the 100 Club of San Antonio through the Ken's Five phone bank during our newscast yesterday. Thank you so much for your generous donations. Well, shortly after G Governor Abbott spoke at Officer Moreno's funeral, his office announced a body armor grant program for Texas law enforcement. The governor's criminal justice division is now accepting applications for the bulletproof vests. In a statement, the governor said the men and women who put their lives on the line to protect Texans deserve the greatest protections. Senate Bill 12, which funds the $25 million statewide grant program, was passed during the 85th legislative session.